and welcome to Matt's B-Movie Reviews, a show that looks at cult films that may have escaped your radar. I'm happy to say that this week, this movie was chosen solely by you. Well, as to say you that follows me on my Facebook page. <coughs> link in the description, link in the description. So don't miss any news on there, like my Facebook page, link in the description. Yeah. So I posted this picture a few days ago and gave you the choice between Zombievers and Wolf Cop. <laughs> Wolf Cop. <laughs> Sounds amazing, I know. I couldn't actually believe it because I've never got so many responses on my Facebook like page before, but it seems that you really wanted to uh, pick this movie. Sit back, relax and gnaw on a bit of bark because this is 2014's Zombievers. <laughs> Here's the plot. A trio of sexy, good-looking girls escape the city life and their boyfriends for a nice weekend in the country. They plan on just relaxing and swimming in the local lake, which is right on their doorstep. Beautiful. Unfortunately, you knew this one was coming, folks. A barrel of medical waste has found its way into the local beaver dam, turning them into... What were they again? It was... Um... Oh, that's it. Zombievers. <laughs> Class. So it looks like they're in for an unforgettable stay as the Zombievers drop in. Could it get much worse? Well, yes. <laughs> as their boyfriends turn up and all hell breaks loose. Great. Will they survive the weekend or are they about to become Beaver Chow? No jokes, please. <laughs> so straight away this movie feels like a B-movie horror pastiche, but it's actually so much more than that. Like a decent film? <laughs> Seriously. The opening scene involving two idiot drivers who are in charge of the medical waste plays off actually like a fun Tarantino scene. It's literally two guys having a very strange heart to heart, followed by an end gag which has unexpected foreshadowing. Damn dear, nearly done that myself a few times. Anyway, the film moves on to our central female characters who are pretty well rounded to say this is a schlock B movie in disguise. And they actually have quite strong motivations to fulfill in the movie. There even seems to be a bit of a love triangle thrown in. Like I say, it's pretty surprising because there are some really big Hollywood movies that just forget to give their characters any motivation in the film. You're just expected to follow them. So it's a well done on that front. The film really kicks into high gear when the knobhead boyfriends turn up and they all go for a swim in the lake. In a scene reminiscent of the raft segment from Creepshow 2, the Zombievers trap them on a floating platform and basically, they're gonna die. What did you expect were gonna happen? So cue knob boyfriend number one who picks up one of the girl's dogs that they brought along for the trip and chucks it in so they can get away. Now I don't mind saying I'm a dog person and this scene really annoyed me but I guess that it was the way the filmmakers really getting us to hate this guy's character because I really did and I wanted to see him slaughtered in the most awful way. Did that happen? Maybe. Now unlike movies like Sharknado and Mega Octopus that I guess rely solely on their posters as a premise. Zombievers, believe it or not, is an enjoyable, well thought out popcorn horror piece of cinema. Yeah, you weren't expecting that one, were you? In fact, one of the best scenes in the film that really sold it for me is when they have to barricade the cabin against the beavers and they start popping through windows and up from the floor and having to bash the brains in with a baseball bat and stab them with a knife. Kind of reminded me of such classic scenes from Dog Soldiers and I really liked that. The bit where it's popping up from the floor is so reminiscent of the old whack-a-mole arcade games which we've all played. <laughs> boom, boom. Brilliant. There's also plenty of gore and creature effects in this movie, which was a surprise to me because I thought it was just going to be pointless CGI blobs, just like those things in Sharknado. 
All right, they're meant to be sharks. <laughs> Not in my world. Overall, I'd say that Zombievis is one hell of a roller coaster ride and probably the best movie, B movie, movie period that I've seen this year. I'm going to give this a solid five Zombievers out of a possible five. Why not? Troll 2 got five stars. Are you crazy, boy? So here's a link to the full trailer available here on YouTube, so check it out if you're thirsty for more. So on to next time, I want you to... No, wait a minute, let me do that again. <clears throat> so on to next time, I want you to pick the movie that I'll be reviewing. <laughs> so it's a choice between Wolf Cop, because I am going to see this movie eventually, <laughs> and Horns, starring Daniel Radcliffe, which is based on a really good Joe Hill novel, which I've mentioned previously. So let me know in the comments below or via my Facebook page as usual. <coughs> Link in the description. <coughs> Do it. So as usual, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. <laughs> Bye. I'll give you some mercy. <laughs>